In the 1870s, the owners of the great landed estates faced a new threat to their fortunes, a prolonged agricultural depression. The Wolseley estate in Staffordshire is one of the oldest in England. Some of the land here was held by a Wolseley in King Alfred's day. A thousand years and several Wolseley halls later and the family is still here. It is now the home of the 11th baronet. Sir Charles Wolseley has not only inherited a title and a remarkable lineage, but also the long-standing family tradition of being seriously hard up. Indeed, the family had been short of money since the fifth baronet. The sixth was a, a big gambler and high liver. The seventh spent it all on his radical endeavours. The eighth didn't do very much, didn't live very long. The ninth um, inherited the land, but no money. The ninth baronet was the archetypal Victorian gentleman. A brilliant horseman, he played in the first ever polo championship in this country. Sir Charles served in the Staffordshire Yeomanry. The present Sir Charles, his great-grandson, was in the same regiment. It's just one of many curious parallels between the lives of the two Sir Charleses. He inherited about the same age as I did. Uh, he inherited debts rather than capital. Apart from the land, I did the same for estate duty. And um, we set about resolving it in different ways, neither more successful than the other, it seems, <laughs> thus far, anyway. The agricultural depression forced the ninth baronet to sell off property and land from the family estate. As agricultural incomes fell, many landlords like Sir Charles had to reduce the rents they were demanding from their tenant farmers. The garden park business which the present Sir Charles started was a victim of the 1980s recession and today the entire Wolseley estate in the family for over 1,000 years is on the market. And the parallels between the two Sir Charleses go on. Sir Charles the Ninth Baronet married an American, Anna Murphy of San Francisco. And it was the story of that marriage which brought the present Sir Charles together with his American wife, Jeannie Brown. I was researching a book on American heiresses who married into the British aristocracy between 1880 and 1905 and came across Sir Charles Wolseley who married Anna Theresa Murphy in 1883 so I wrote to the Wolseley of the day. That's how it all began. Jeannie Brown didn't just gain access to the Wolseley papers. She fell in love with Sir Charles and then married him to become the second American Lady Wolseley. The family letters she is still studying confirm the ninth baronet's motive for marrying the American Anna Murphy. He was just chronically short of money. He would never have remotely considered getting a job. That gentleman sort of didn't do that. And so one of the few options left to him, other than selling off the estate, um, was finding someone to marry uh, who had a 